assistant and surgical robotic system born as sparing flexible puppetsy, a case rapid. The Senans robotic system represents an alternative to the traditional robotic systems that consists of a remote control unit and a panel manipulator arms and a connection node that allows a remote three-dimensional vision with an eye-tracking camera control system, integrated haptic interaction and the possibility of fully usable tools. The present case report shows the feasibility of non sparing psychopathic puppetsy performed with Senans in a 60-year-old woman with asymptomatic pelvic organ products. After locating useful anatomic landmarks, outline of the promontory, iliac bifurcation, left common iliac vein, right ureter, the longitudinal vertebral ligament covering the sacral promontory was exposed. This was accomplished by opening the parietal peritoneum and with gentle sharp on the section of retroperitoneal tissue. The peritoneal incision was prolonged along the right pelvic wall up to the uterine isthmus, exposing the right hypogastric nerve. Then, a subtotal hysterectomy with bilateral sapingophorectomy was performed according to a patient's request since she was in menopause, using a standardized technique in our institution. The patch of Douglas was incised between the two uterosacral ligaments and the rectovaginal space was dissected along the posterior vaginal wall until the perineal body inferiorly and the rectovaginal ligaments laterally were reached. This allowed the exposure of posterior vaginal wall, perineal body, elevator any muscle bilaterally. The vesico uterine peritoneum was opened and the vesico uterine and vesico vaginal spaces were dissected. The section limits were the trigonal region inferiorly and bladder pillars laterally. An adequately shaped polypropylene mesh was placed and fixed to put the posterior vaginal wall by using four 3 0 absorbable sutures. The first two sutures were applied on the levator and a muscle, two other sutures were applied for each side on the middle and upper portion of posterolateral vaginal walls at the level of uterosacral ligaments. An adequately shaped polypropylene mesh was inserted and fixed to the anterior vaginal wall with three zero non absorbable sutures and a non absorbable barbed suture. The first suture was applied at the midline at the vesicle apex of the mesh. Two sutures for each side were located on the middle and upper portions of anterolateral vaginal wall. The anterior mesh was treated up and fixed to the promontory using an absorbable suture with an extracorporeal node under visual control from the vagina so as to lift the prolapsed vaginal walls without excessive tension. Peritonization was performed using an absorbable barbed suture.